you just bought a Garmin InReach Explorer Plus. And you think this thing is going to be really cool. It can do all these things. And now you have it in your hands and you're like, how the hell do I start? And how do I use it? Because it's not very user friendly. It's not an Apple product with step-by-step -step instructions. It's just like, I'm on, figure it out. Meanwhile, you're expected to know how to use this in an emergency situation. We're gonna show you how to get more out of the Garmin InReach in less time than you ever thought possible. Hi, I'm Andres. And I'm Scott. And, and together, together we, we took, took the, the Garmin InReach Explorer handheld satellite communicator with topographical maps, GPS navigator, and all kinds of other cool stuff with us on a three and a half week epic road trip from Baton Rouge, Louisiana to San Francisco, California and back. How do you open the box? There we go. That's how you open it. Professional. It's very well built. How do you start using this device? Before using your InReach device, it must be activated. To do that, go to garmin.inreach.com create an account, and select a satellite subscription plan. Let's Get go. the device and follow the on-screen instructions. When prompted, go outdoors to an open area that has a clear view of the sky, and wait till the device communicates with the satellite. It may take up to 20 minutes to activate your device. The device must send and receive several messages, which takes longer than sending a single message during regular use. Pro tip, for best connection with satellite, attach the device to a backpack or to your upper body. Andres has actually found that by holding the device straight up and down, it allows you to connect and send messages better. Does the InReach work as a standalone device? So the InReach can act as a standalone device. However, it's much easier to use when you connect it to your phone with Bluetooth and use the EarthMate app to interact with this device. Once the devices are paired, they will connect automatically. Keep in mind, you can only have one phone paired to this device at a time. Can you test to see if the InReach is actually working? It's very simple. You just click on the test icon and it will send a test message and it will let you know when it is sent and received one. The InReach is a very versatile tool and here are a few main functions we think you should become familiar with, like how to send a message. Sending a message on this device is just like sending a text message on your phone. You have a contact, you have a phone number, and it goes to that number. Keep in mind, on your phone, you can text a local phone number without putting in the area code, or you can text someone by simply typing in the three digit area code. With the InReach device, you have to put the country code in front of it. Most phone numbers that you text are gonna have a one in front of it because they're a US based number. However, if you're in another country, you can put the country code in front of the phone number. It will not do it automatically for you. If you text a regular 10 digit phone number, it will get shot off in outer space and no one will get the message. Now, when receiving messages on the InReach device that has been paired to your Bluetooth, the InReach will actually continue to ring until you check the message. So it can become quite annoying if it isn't within arm's length. However, that is a setting that you can turn on and off. Does the device have a map on it? I mean, it is from Garmin. Yes, it has a map on it. It's not a GPS navigator in the sense that if you give it a destination it will not give you a route. Any route that you see is just going to be a straight line from one waypoint or your current location to the next. You have to chart out your own course. You should also download your maps and all your charts before you go on your trip. What is a waypoint? A waypoint is a specific location on the map that you have saved in your device. What do you use a waypoint for? You can navigate to a waypoint or you can get information on that waypoint. That brings us into the weather. How do you get the weather on this device? Simply go to the weather icon and tell it to update. If you want to get weather for a specific location, it's either going to be your current location or a waypoint that you have saved from earlier. Keep in mind that there is a limit to how many locations you can have saved for weather information. Pro tip, you can adjust the tracking log interval and the tracking send interval. The device is great for tracking your location. By default, it will track your location every two minutes, and every 10 minutes it will report it to the satellite. Someone back at home can then log on to a computer and see where you've been. They can also see how fast you've been going. Handy tip of information. And most of the other functions you should be able to figure out on your own. So here are the fun parts. Here are a few of the quirks and oddities that we noticed when using the Garmin InReach. When you first set the device up, if you're using your phone and Bluetooth, it's going to try to import all of your contacts. You probably don't want to do that for obvious reasons. You don't want 1,500 different people saved in your device. I recommend writing down the number of a few people that you're going to want to talk to while you're on your trip and just save them manually. Sending a message. It will usually take anywhere from 2 to 20 minutes for a message to go out. You have to be patient. Updating it and syncing it. This device clearly not made by Apple. That being said, it's not very user friendly. We tried syncing this device via Bluetooth on the cell phone and didn't go very well. We ended up having to plug it into the computer with the USB port on the bottom and syncing the device that 
that way. And even that was a very choppy experience. When you sync it, you're giving it the most up-to-date map. Uh, you go to the Garmin website and you select which regions or which areas you want to download maps and which overlays you want. There's a list for different areas. Some areas have more overlays available than others, but you have to pick the ones that you're going to use. By default, it doesn't just have the whole globe saved in it. So that's something you need to look into. As far as Garmin's concerned, I think that they should just put some more memory in here and just put everything for the whole world in the device. So, speed round, frequently asked questions, battery life, how do you even charge the thing? How long does it take to charge it? Pull the plug on the bottom, uses micro USB, and if you run the battery down to about a quarter of its capacity, it'd take about 30 minutes to an hour to fully charge with a very weak USB charger. How long does it last? It'll last a few days. Uh, there's a list of the battery life and it corresponds directly with your send intervals. How does someone send your inReach a message? To send the inReach a message, either go to our MapShare website and click on the button to send a message if they have that enabled. If they don't have that enabled, to send someone who has an inReach a message you will simply text their phone number associated with the inReach device if they text you first you simply just reply to that message it's as simple as being a regular phone number so Andres would you recommend it yes I would recommend it Andres what are your final thoughts the only thing that this device really did for me was give me peace of mind that I could reach out to someone and they could track my location this thing is powerful and yet fragile at the same time to see more videos, we went on a three and a half week, 11,000 miles, epic road trip from Baton Rouge, Louisiana to San Francisco, California and back. The playlist is linked somewhere. Today was a win. I think the camera's still working. The good thing is that I didn't get hurt because the camera uh, broke my fall. Hit that like button and if you want, leave a comment about using it or a tip that you would have for anyone else trying to start using this device. Stick around and see more of the items we took on our road trip like the pocket rocket stove, the jet boil, and two stands we found for them. So till next time, don't forget about us because, because we, we won't, won't forget, forget about, about you. you.